Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we are going to be looking at my third version of the Chaos Cannon. As you probably already know if you have tested out my previous version is that it is broken. Uh, there is this little bug where you have these one tick pulses that prevent it from working. I don't know if they're going to fix that. I have sent a complaint to Mojang and hopefully they will fix it. But anyway I have now got a third installment that is slightly smaller but is yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good it's got a lot of fixes and everything's now very very fluent so there's no problems with this whatsoever so now if we press the lever we can see what happens so it's normal chaos cannon you get TNT firing everywhere and it doesn't self destruct or anything like that and it fires absolutely everywhere and all the timings are right so you don't have to worry about anything like that there we go so what we have this time is this time we have a few different things so first time we had like an intersection thing here that sent a one tick repeating pulse through here this time we don't have that we have we have got our comparator clock down here to fire all of these and also I could not have them firing along here because of some sort of bud problem because yeah I'll get into that shortly but anyway so after the signal gets sent up here it gets through here and sent to this clock so this is a redstone torch clock and if you didn't know in 1.8 redstone torch clocks have been a lot more reliable all you need is three torches any less will probably break it but free is what they said on the Mojang page is the recommended for these tor torch burnout clocks so we've got one of these and if you're wondering why there's this little hump here is because if this was down here then this one wouldn't fire this is what I mean by bug problem this one is had the same problem uh, also in the other version it had budding problems too or at least it does now and bud switches I don't hate them but buds can be a little bit frustrating so you just need to know about them so you can deal with them so now that that's done it's a wee bit annoying because it makes a little ugly hump here and if this wasn't here if I didn't have this bud problem then I could have this all pushed back I could have this along this line here uh, this along this line here and I could have this redstone here along on top of here but unfortunately that's not the case that's why it looks so big and bulky but it's not it's just a bit of redstone so those are the major problems that got fixed so also the timing is so much better now absolutely a million times better so what we have is we have this going into this torch which just allows us to have these torch clocks without this redstone here interfering and this also makes it so we don't have to have a torch over here otherwise we'd have redstone here and redstone here making this torch clock over here not work and that way we'd have one less four tick repeater over here so it just fixes a lot of problems and it's really great so anyway now on to the tutorial Okay guys, so first thing you want to do is get a 7x6 area, and if you are not in a cave, put down uh, two transparent blocks or any blocks to stop the water flowing out on this side and that side. So then you want to get some building blocks, 7 slabs, 14 dispensers, 24 redstone, 6 redstone repeaters, 4 redstone torches, a redstone comparator, a lever, and 2 water source blocks. So first thing you want to do is come three blocks back from the front, place a block down there and place temporary blocks along like this. Then after you have done that you want to place dispensers under it like this, seven of them. Then you want to come to the front and place dispensers like this on the front. After you have done that you can get rid of your back blocks, these ones over here. And then you want to come to the front and place down your seven slabs along here. Then after you've done that, you want to get your two water source blocks, start at one end, place it here, place it here, then take this water bucket and place it, keep going like that. The only reason I'm doing this is because in 1.8, water, well, water affects TNT. TNT um, flows down the water stream. The TNT just flows down the water stream, which can make TNT go over here, over here, and it can just screw up the accuracy of lots of TNT cannons. So that's why we have all them. So next thing we want to do is place down a block along the back like here and a block along the top like here. Then after you've done that you want to get your redstone and place them along the top. Next thing you want to do is come around the back here and place blocks here, here and here. 
So what you want to do is place down your lever here, make sure that it is off, then you want to place your comparator here, right click it, make sure you right click it or else this won't work. Then you want to get a redstone repair, set it to full text delay back here. Place blocks like that with a redstone torch on top, with another block on top. Then you want to come along here and place a block along here, all the way along till you get to here with a block on top here. Then after you've done that you want to get five redstone repeaters and place them along like this. Make sure they're all set to four ticks delay so that way you have a 24 tick output. So then after you've done that you want to come over here and place a block up like this and along like this. Then you want to place your block over here like just like this then another block on top like this. Then after you've done that make sure these three redstone torches are on these blocks and then after that you want to have your redstone on like that. So this will take up make us an infinite redstone torch clock. Then after you've done that you want to place a block here and then we will come along here and place redstone like this. But then you want to destroy this block, place block here with redstone on top. So that are the that is the basics of it. So now that you have finished all you have to do is fill it up with TNT, flick the lever and watch as the magic happens. As you can see TNT flies everywhere and you have just made yourself an uh, impressive chaos cannon that you can show your friends, blow up their base, or blow up someone else's base on a faction server. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you next time on TNT Madness. And goodbye from TNT Madness.